how to make your art into an NFT. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. Welcome to TechPress. My name is Steven, and I'll be showing you guys in today's video how you can make an NFT. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can access a few platforms to sell your NFTs on a few places where we can build our NFTs or our own personal art without having to make some copyright stuff, and we can start to earn money. And lastly, guys, I'm going to be showing you how we can create our very first actual crypto wallet in order to receive the money. So let's get started. The very first thing that you wanted to do is to figure out where do you want to sell your actual NFTs. And the most popular where you can sell items, collections, and much more is called the OpenSea.io. This is an amazing place where you can sell different collections, different NFT, different some arts, totally depends on what kind of stuff you want to actually not even sell you can even buy if you wanted to and then resell those later so first of all um now that i'm here into the opentea.io i wanted to see how does the nfts are working here so for example we have the top collector build buys today and they have for example owls they have mamagoro they have good bows season and much more so i'm going to click into this one and take a look into the actual account I'm going to scroll a little bit down as you can see here's the actual price that they're actually selling their own stuff and this is how it's going to be looking right so as you can see it doesn't look so bad after all and if you want to buy some of those you just need to go into the auto card and then you have the offer now what i wanted to do uh, i'm going to leave this like that and let's locate where we wanted to create our NFTs. There's actually three ways I'm going to be showing you. There's a lot of places where you can start to build your NFTs. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you like three really, really easy ways. And the very first one is like a manual way. This one is called the Pixel Art. In here into the Pixel Art, what you can do is to build almost any kind of Canva. And you can just make some pixel art and then you can later sell those. Why am I talking about this? Because um, actually speaking about the pixel art, it's being known that it actually looks great, really great. I mean, um, you can build whatever you wanted to. What I want to do is to show you that there's a lot of people actually working into pixel art. And as you can see, there's a lot, but really, really a lot of stuff that people are creating here into pixel art. So you can build this if you wanted to. The second way is to use some artificial on the challenges that can be helping you to do this but i'm pretty sure that the open sea might not be looking that too good because if you are selling stuff created by an artificial intelligence i mean it's not that worthy you want to bring value to your nfc's that's the reason why people want to buy your stuff i mean you can build stuff here into daily number two but since there's not how much value there's not good chance the chance that people are going to be buying your actual uh stuff as an nft so that's you want to just take that in mind for example here we have this for example um this unrevealed nft so if you buy this you don't know if this nft is going to be worthy of one dollar ten ten dollars uh ten thousand dollars it's like just um random so uh if you go into dali number two let's say that i wanted to create some um nft art so i'm gonna go in dali number two this is totally for free let's hit here where it says an impersonist old pain let's go and nft art of an avocado i'm gonna leave it like that I can go into the coma. I'm going to go for high quality. So we do have one, two, three, four uh, elements that can be helping us to sell this as an NFT. So if you don't like any of those, you can just toss over again. Or what you can do is to try to do some variations. For example, I think that I kind of like this one. And lastly, there's something called the Met Journey. Now in Met Journey, you can do exactly the same thing. Here, it's uh, a text description that I just told the application to help me with. We here we have a killer whale in a realistic style, and I asked for something different. For example, for example, the astronaut riding a killer whale and navigating through the galaxy with mysterious creatures in high quality resolutions. And there we go, boom! This is our actual work. So if you want to sell uh, all of these options, that's totally up to you. You can look out for more. This is just like a few examples of how you can get started. So I'm gonna use this image as an example so I can start designing here my own. So now what I want to do is to go into one of the most popular uh, crypto wallets where I can start receiving money, which is called the MetaMask. So if you go into the MetaMask.io, what you wanted to do is to download this as an extension. And once you hit into download, here is going to be asking for, uh, of course, an account. 
and what you want to do is to create your account this one is going to be sending you just uh, a few random words that you need to save in order to access metamask so once you have your account already been created and now you have the security option it's going to be something like this what you want to do now that you have your actual wallet already enabled now we can access OpenSea so here into OpenSea the way that we can access OpenSea is by having a crypto wallet so if I go into the upper side and locate my profile which is uh, here it's going to be telling me to connect our wallet so what we want to do is to choose MetaMask which is actual a wallet you can create another wallet from Coinbase, Wallet, Ledger, Phantom, whatever you wanted to but in my case I'm going to stick around with only MetaMask and here it's going to be asking to unlock my wallet in order to access my, uh, my actual account and as you can see my profile is now being created you're going to be seeing that there's actually just a few random stuff so you don't have to worry about that what you want to do is to go into the actual wallet section my bio my email address my socials everything should be connected like really really easy and as you can see here's my wallet address now that we have successfully done that what i wanted to do now is to hit into my account hit into my collections or hit into create so here i can import my actual image so i can start selling this as an nft and of another artwork for k and here's an external link so this one is going to be helping us to learn a little bit more about this project so for example since this is an artwork from a song i could just import here the name of the song or where does this nft came from what is this what is the actual value of this nft this will bring more value to your nft and then later on you can sell this and here into the description it will be included on the item detail page uh mac balance and tax is supported we have the collection here we can create one if you want to but if you're not you can leave it like that and now properties level stats uh, that totally depends on what are you trying to import but in my case I'm not gonna mess around there and lastly we have the blockchain now the blockchain is where your actual uh, NFT is gonna be working on it's gonna be around so what you want to do I can strongly suggest you to just stick around with the polygon so there's not gonna be any charge to, to import your OpenSea and your NFTs so if you go into create sometimes if this is your very first time it's going to be asking you to uh, make a just one time fee and then you can continue so once you have your nft already been posed you go into sell and here you want to import the time auction or here into fixed price and then you go into the starting price like this and here's the amount that you want to sell your stuff $24 let's say for seven days and if you think it's going to be good enough for you just go into complete my listing and I just need to sign the request and as you can see my listing has now been listed I can go into view listing and this is how we can create and start selling NFTs using OpenSea like I just said, there's a few more ways that you can sell NFTs. So you can go into NFT sales into the Google. It's going to be appearing, let's say, for example, Binance. I can go into the Metaverse. I can go into non-fungible. There's a lot of places where I can start selling my own NFTs. But that totally depends on you. I just show you guys how we can create, how we can sell, and we can start earning money with some NFTs. Hopefully, guys, this was a very, really, really worthy video for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how you can buy NFTs, sell NFTs, and much more. So thank you so much for watching the video, and hopefully I will see you on the next video.